Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me Zoe and in today's video I have um, my August perfume tray. So yeah, um, all of my like August perfume trays, prod views and ups this month are going to be obviously one day late because I did <laughs> skip a filming day back uh, in late July. I skipped like the Thursday before August started so everything's pushed back a little bit so this should be going up. I believe on Saturday, what would that be? Today's Wednesday, 8th, Saturday the 10th. Um, yeah, it should be up Saturday the 10th. And then you should already see my candle probably use it up um, for Thursday's video. But yeah, um, I hope you can't hear any of like, the construction noises outside because the entire road, like my road, is an offshoot of a like larger road that entire road is getting completely ripped up repaved stuff like that so hopefully can't hear any like construction noises but yeah so let's go ahead and get started so first obviously like i normally do i'm going to talk about my thoughts and um usage of the perfumes from july and then we're going to go over to the exciting perfumes for august and i'm actually very excited about the august perfume tray because I'm using some fragrances I haven't used in a while and I'm very excited to use them. So yeah, okay. So for uh, July, here's what my perfume tray looks like. If I don't hit the desk here. This is what it looked like. Very cute. Very like bright and airy looking. Um, I had, looks like seven fragrances on here. And yeah, we're going to go over and talk about them. So we'll start with one that I really, really enjoyed this month. This is from Le Mans Gourmand. This is 006, the matcha. So I got a little perfume sampler set with five of these little Le Mans Gourmand samplers. Um, the matcha and the citrus one so far are my favorites out of the set. I absolutely love this. I didn't think I would love this because I was assuming it'd be more of that like grassy type of scent, but it's just so pretty. So it is like a citrusy, green, bright, like scent with I don't know there is a floral in here but I can't like pin exactly what floral it is it's something I've smelled before but it's like a bright citrusy floral it's just really pretty and yeah if I found the full size perfume of this at like TJ Maxx or something I would purchase it for like 15 to 20 dollars I totally would so yeah if I can find a full size perfume of this and I know it's not like a um commonly found perfume set at TJ Maxx because I do watch those TJ Maxx like such shopping videos from like Leah Janae and Leora um so yeah I just I haven't seen it and I've never seen it personally other than this so I think the chances are pretty slow and funny but I would repurchase it it's just beautiful as you can see I'm like basically halfway done one of my favorite fragrances I've been using recently it's perfect for hot summer days it's nice and I just I just love this so much so yeah, on that one. Uh, here's one I wasn't really sure about this month, and I like this fragrance itself. I just did not like the combo I put together with this. Um, this is Kelly's Deja Vu Wet Flower 57. As you can see, I've used a little bit, and it was probably more like right here when I started because this didn't come like completely full. I got this half off at like an Ulta sale or a Sephora. And it was a Sephora sale where they were like copying the. 50% off like Ulta days I think um so yeah anyways I bought this because it was like $13 or something and I was like that's a great deal um I love this scent it is like a ambery deep dark incense -y white floral scent obviously I don't know why I picked this for summer because it is not a summer fragrance this is definitely more of a fall uh florally incense -y fragrance so I don't know why I picked it and that could be part of the reason I didn't enjoy the combo I made I currently can't remember what combo I made with this, but either way, it was a bad combo. I gotta say that. Um, if you watch my July Prod Use Up um, perfume combos, <laughs> you would know it was a bad combo. Uh, I didn't like it. I can't really remember what I did with it at this point because I used that combo early in the month and I haven't used this since just because it's been too hot for this fragrance. But I do like the fragrance itself and I'll probably put it in one of my um, like more fall time perfume trays. Maybe like... Um, October or something like that. This feels like a good October fragrance. Okay, 
Uh, the next one, I also did not enjoy this month because, again, I made one combo with it and it was bad. Um, this is Fantasy Sheer by Britney Spears. This is a, oh, you can see my face right there. That's funny. Um, yeah, I love this fragrance in general. As you can see, I have a dent. I just, last summer I used it so much and I feel like I've been, I love this fragrance, but I haven't been wanting to use it that much because I used it so much for last summer. It's a nice, like, shampoo-y, fresh type of scent and I do like I said I do enjoy it I just feel like I'm burnt out with this because I keep putting it in trying to use it because I love it so much um especially with uh the gingham the gingham love fragrance was a perfect combo I think that's what it was I can't fully remember but I'm pretty sure I paired this with the gingham love fragrance mist when I had that I loved it so much so uh, yeah I made one combo with this I didn't like it wouldn't do that combo ever again so I do enjoy this fragrance but like I said, I just didn't really get the chance to use it because I was kind of scarred from how bad that combo <laughs> was. Um, again, if, I really can't remember what it was, but you can watch my other video if you want to figure that out. Um, anyways, next one is a perfume I am absolutely loving. I think I've had this in two straight um, months of perfume trays. And this is Philosophy's Falling in Love. Honestly... I have been like, I've okay, I've loved every philosophy fragrance I have bought so far. I bought the Summer Memories Perfect Moments one, love that, love this one. I love the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. I just love the philosophy, philosophy fragrances. They're all so nice. Um, obviously, I haven't tried them all, but I've never smelled the Pure Grace ones. But um, like these other ones I have are so good. Anyways, Falling in Love is a um, sweet, sugary blackberry scent. Not gourmand, but like a juicy blackberry covered in like actual granulated sugar. It just smells so pretty. There's a some floral in there that gives you this beautiful, like you used the most like fruity yet upscale smelling shampoo. That's the kind of vibes this gives. Yeah, I've just been loving it. As you can see, I have not the most massive dent, but a dent. Uh, and considering I have uh, six to eight perfumes every month, that's pretty good for me for how much I used it. I think I probably use that this month. I don't know. Either four to six times because I would use it even without a fragrance mist. And I was like, I just want to smell like that. Anyways, one of my favorites from Philosophy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like all three of my scents from Philosophy are kind of on the same level. I love them all so much. So anyways, I would continue buying Philosophy scents. I find them in TJ Maxx quite often, actually. Um, I don't think I've ever... Well, I bought my Fresh Cream Worn Cashmere online from Ulto and they're having those half-off days super great deal it's like 26 dollars for the full size amazing yeah i just i love this watch anyways i'm gonna stop rambling on about my love for that but continuing i have my ari my ariana grande as you can see i have a little tiny dent there i have used one of these up fully so i'm not in the mood to fully use up another one because i would do want to keep this one but it's just a nice raspberry fruity girly scent it is definitely very girly. It's not like juvenile per se because I've smelled like fragrances that smell juvenile. If you like wear this the right way where you don't just like, if you wear like a childish fragrance mist with it, one that just smells like very young, you know what I mean? It can lean that way, but by itself, I think it is just, it's not like juvenile. It's just more feminine. It's just like a sweet, fruity feminine. you are not trying to be super overpowering or super like floral, floral. It's just beautiful and I love pairing this with fragrances. So one of my favorite perfumes I own, not my most favorite, but I'd say this is in top 10. So there's that. And lastly, I have two Dossier fragrances. The first one is Fruity Neroli by Dossier. This is um, inspired by Armani's My Way. The top notes are bergamot, neroli, blackcurrant, and strawberry. Middle notes of jasmine, tuberose, and orange blossom. And base notes of vanilla, musks, and cedarwood so pretty you definitely get like the jasmine and the tuberose they're very strong and white florally at first but after a few seconds you definitely get the more bubblegummy vibe um you get the vanilla and that like citrusy bergamot it's so pretty it's perfect for summer um and spring i would say but yeah i do love that as you can see here let me hold it straight a little dent there but i do like this and the reason i don't use these up very fast is they're so strong. Almost, I think every single dossier scent I have is extremely strong. What concentration are these? I feel like these are 15 or 20% concentration. 
I can't remember. I think that they might be 20. I think, actually, I think they differ. I think most of them are 15 to 20 percent. Some of them are 18 as well. Yeah, I just love Dacia scents. And again, they are extremely strong. So that's why my dent isn't huge on this. But I do love this scent. And I don't think I'd ever repurchase because this is going to take me forever to use up. But I do enjoy the scent a lot. So if I were to go through it quickly, I probably would repurchase. But that's not like the running for now. You know what I mean? Okay. Last but not least, this is Dossier's Powdery Hawthorne. This is inspired by Tom Ford's Metalique. Uh, top notes of aldehydes, neroli, and orange blossom. Middle notes of Hawthorne and heliotrope flower. And base notes of vanilla, ambra, and Peru balsam. So when you first smell this, you definitely get what I'm guessing is the aldehydes. Because it's almost like a chemically smell. Not in a bad way though. It just has this like, I don't know, elemental aspect. I don't know how to, to describe it. It's very interesting, but immediately after you get that, you get the soft woodiness, the sweet. It is like a sweet, like vanilla, but not in the gourmand way. It's just like a sweet vanilla. Yeah, it's just really pretty. So I don't really get the heliotrope, the neroli, or the orange blossom. I really do get the vanilla, especially the ambrette. It's like that creamy, airy vibe. You get that. And then what do you know? It's beautiful. Perfect to pair with Beach Nights, in my opinion, because that Ambrat almost gives a marshmallowy feel. So, yeah. That was everything on my update from Perfume Tray. So, now it's empty. Um, and let's get started. I know this is going to be like a really long video. I don't think I've made a Perfume Tray update this long in quite a while, but that's okay. And let's get started. So, one of my favorite, like, fresh ish perfumes that you know, guys, you guys know I love is uh, CK One Shot For Her. This CK means Calvin Klein. Um, yeah, here, where's my dent? I'm like right here on this, so I'm basically halfway done, which is amazing because this is like a big bottle of 3.4 ounces. It's just a beautiful pear. It's like a sweet yet fresh pear scent. It's really pretty, perfect for summer, and perfect for like a transition to fall as well, which is why I picked it out. Really excited for this one. I also brought back one I usually use in the winter time, um, and this is Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. So I'll take the head off. <laughs> you can see the little dent there. Um, not huge, but not that small. This is like a sparkly, not spark, sparkling, like shampoo-y coconut scent with like an uplifting vibe. It's very pretty. It's very casual, but you can dress it up like um, the combo that Jasmine Buller came up with, with the sparkling creme from Victoria's Secret, that one definitely dresses it up versus if you use like a different shampoo-y scent or a different like, coconut -y scent, it can dress it down. So it's very versatile. In my opinion, it's just really pretty. It's a really pretty scent. So I would suggest if you see this at TJ Maxx, they're usually like 10 to $15 for like the full size, um, 1.7 ounce, which I think I have. I don't know if there's a three by four. I'm not sure. But yeah, they're very affordable and I really do enjoy them. Okay, next, this is Gingham by Bath and Body Works. You know, if you watch my perfume trays regularly. Also, excuse my nails, I did my own nails, and let's just say painting my right hand is so difficult. Like, the fact this, like, side looks so much better than this side does. I just, oh, I just, yeah, I can't really stand inside the lines when I'm using my left hand to paint my nails, so that's fine. It'll, the sides rub off eventually. Anyways, you know that I have troubles using up Gingham. I think I put Gingham in two perfume trays this year. And I really didn't use it at all in either. So thankfully I do have a specific fragrance mist that I really want to use. And I want to use with this. So hopefully I can because I feel like I'm really bad with putting this in and never using it. So yeah, it's just a nice like clementine, like fresh aquatic scent. So there's that. Okay, next, the Philosophy Fragrance, which I love. This is Pure Grace Summer Moments. As you can see, I have a nice dent going on there. This is one of my favorite fragrances to pair with my melon, is it melon drip? I think so. So it's just a nice, fruity, tropical, watery, yet breezy, but still like that rich, tropical, fruity vibe. It's really pretty. Um, I highly recommend it if you can find it. I don't know if they actually make it anymore or if it's just at like TJ Maxx, but anyways, yeah, I'm excited to use this again. I think I had this in two product use it ups ago and I just keep coming back to it because it's such a good scent. So there is that. Okay, four more to go. I am having a full eight set of fragrances on this tray. So next is one that I do not love at all, but I'm going to try and use it this month. This is 
Fantasy by Britney Spears. I actually do have a dent on it. It's right there. Um, I just don't love this fragrance. It's a one ounce. First of all, the bottle's kind of ugly. I mean, it's like that weird 2000s, like, magenta glittery pink thing. I don't like the packaging on this. Like, this one is fine. I think it's just the color, honestly. Like, it, I just don't like it. It looks weird. Anyways, the packaging is not the problem. It's the scent. So, this will see like a sweet floral scent with cupcake. There's no cupcake in here. I've used this so many times and there's just no cupcake. I've had it probably for at least a year now. It still hasn't brought out the cupcake note. So it's like, is it worth it to put the cupcake note even in there? No, because it was very misleading to me. I got it thinking it was going to be like a nice cupcakey scent with a hint of a floral. It's more like a floral with no cupcake. So it's just not my favorite. That's for sure. There's a hint of citrusy note in there, and it's not the worst scent, but the lack of cupcake was really <laughs> what made me, like, be all a hater on this. I just, I don't like it. Again, not because it's a bad scent, just because the cupcake note is very deceiving. So, and I don't know if it will get there once it dries down, but it's certainly not there um, when I smell it. So, anyways, next full-size perfume, and then we have two travel size we're going to go and talk about. So the next one is Amour Amour by Casherelle. I feel like I haven't worn this in almost an entire year and I'm very excited to wear it again and I'm just me smelling so strong by the end of this with all those random perfumes I'm putting on but it's just a beautiful upscale like summer to fall floral scent with some fruits. It's also very soft and toned down. It's not like um not strong but the scent itself is like just a soft floral fruity and there's like quite some vanilla or wood scene here too because it's just so beautiful anyways I'm extremely excited to wear this because I haven't worn it like I said in a while yeah super cute cute little bottle and that's going on the perfume tray okay on to the two minis one is like my favorite scents I've tried recently and one is one I haven't tried yet at all so the first one which I was talking about in the first part is Citron Glacé from Le Mans Gourmand. This is number three. Yeah. Okay. It's not in there right now. I need to spray some. It's just so beautiful. It is just a sweet, it's like almost, if you took orange juice and like took that like tartness away. Or if, okay. It's like if you made orange juice from like those mini mandarin oranges, that's what it smells like with that, like lots of sugar, but not like syrupy sweet, just sugary. It's so beautiful. I really love it. Um, it's one of my favorite fragrances that I've tried recently. It, it's just, I just, I love this one. So I'm going to be sad to see this go. But again, if I saw this one in stores for the full size, it was between $15 to $20. I would pick it up 100%. So very excited about using that one. And last but not least is also from Le Mans Gourmand. This is number eight and this is Late de Coco. A lot of people really love this one. And I, I don't know if I ever smelled it when I got it. I probably did. I can't remember. Okay, it's a nice, like, airy, tropical, it's like a tropical coconut, but toned down, and very, like, a very airy coconut. There is definitely a milky vibe, but it's not, like, a sweet milky lactonic vibe. It's more of, like, a coconut milky vibe, but not, like, sweet, just, like, plain old coconut milk. The airy tropical coconut. It's really pretty. Um, so far, not my favorite, but it's not bad, so we'll see how I feel about that later in the month um they gave me my uh september update so yeah that was everything let me grab the tray pick it up to show you Ooh, okay this is what the tray is looking like today yeah very cute um not like matching they never really are it's already the chair is like squeaky i don't think i installed it right but i don't want to reinstall it so yeah anyways thank you guys all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one Bye.